Hey guys, thank you so much for being here. My name is Frida and welcome to my YouTube. Today's video is going to be all about my Sephora VIB haul first impressions. I wanted to try out a bunch of the products that I got because I was super, super excited to try them out. I wanted to give you guys my honest opinion as I was going through the motions. So I did create this look right here with all of those items. So if you guys are interested on how I got this look, then you can go ahead and just keep on watching. But before you guys do, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and you already know to hit that notification bell right next to it so you don't miss any notifications on me posting new videos. And now that I've said everything that I need to say, we can go ahead and just I have nothing on my face right now and the first product that I picked up and I'm going to try out is the Saint Laurent Saint Laurent I have no idea how to say this I don't even know why I bought this but it's literally so bougie like it has like gold pieces inside of this bottle and it's sparkly and it's cute and it's the blur primer so I'm gonna go ahead and try that I'm like so scared to use way too much of this because this primer was literally like 50 something dollars like who am I why would I ever do that for 50 something dollars, this shit better blur my face. Like, Photoshop the hell out of this. I don't wanna see a pimple, I don't wanna see my pores, and I don't wanna see my wrinkles for this much money, okay? Okay. This primer is like super smooth, super smooth on my skin, but it literally feels like one of the e.l.f. primers that I've tried in my life. So, we'll just have to see how it actually does with like blurring my makeup. I totally just failed at starting this because I literally just realized that I got a moisturizer and it's a glam glow one so obviously I'm going to try that out on camera. So now I'm wiping away like $60 worth of primer but we're starting over. Okay now to really start I'm going to go in with a glam glow glow starter mega illuminating moisturizer in the color nude glow. That's the longest <sighs> the longest name I think I've ever said for anything in my life. But I'm going to try this one out. I heard like kind of mixed reviews about this. But I tested it out on my hands. Ooh, I'm gonna just get that off the cap right there because this thing was expensive too. So you best believe I'm about to moisturize with whatever is on this little piece of paper. So I heard mixed reviews, but I really wanted to try it because it just felt so good on my hands. And now it feels really, really good on my face. It smells really fruity, like citrusy, but not like too, too citrusy, if that makes sense. This feels like good on my skin when I was rubbing it in, but now that I put it in, it just feels kind of like, just like any other moisturizer. So I don't really know if it's worth the $60 in my opinion, but I guess we'll just have to see like how my skin looks throughout the video um, and see how it looks like with my foundation and stuff. But so far, I don't really know. It just feels like any other moisturizer, so. So now that I use that super, super expensive primer twice, I'm going to go in with the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. I've never tried this one. I just picked it up at Sephora as well. Gosh, these drop things, man, they really just get me. This is too complicated. Why can't you just have a pump like any other normal foundation? See, now you just gotta go back in and suck it back up and drop it on your face like the why like that's so extra to me like so not necessary so picked up a new beauty blender not new to me but new in general because my other one was so disgusting and i'm just going to go ahead and blend that in using this beauty blender this is just with one layer foundation and it honestly didn't really do much for me like i still have a huge breakout right here you can still see all of my breakouts right here on my chin so I'm gonna go in with another layer and then I'm going to try using my Morphe M439 brush this time and see if I get a little bit more coverage. So I put a second layer on. I'm really not that impressed by this foundation. I'm not a very natural coverage type of girl though. Like I have too many breakouts to be doing that and too much redness to be using like light foundations. So I use normally like medium to full coverage. This is like light or medium, like light to medium or medium coverage for me. So this foundation might look good for people who don't have any breakouts or not a lot of redness and just want something to like give them a nice healthy look. But I personally don't want to spend $50 on a foundation that's not like really, really good. So now I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Fair Beige and hopefully put a lot more coverage onto my face because I'm really not impressed by this foundation. So 
So now that my concealer is on, I'm going to bake using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I just picked this one up. I've never tried it before, so I'm going to see if it lives up to all my expectations and just go ahead and bake with that. Oh my god, I literally look like Pillsbury Doughboy. So I'm going to use my Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula and just put that all over my face while this is baking. And now for my brows, I'm just using my Benefit Give Me Brow. It's literally sucked so bad right now. I'm like embarrassed to be in front of the camera. I'm just going to take off my baking. Oh my god, I look insane on camera. Like, why is this so pale? This is like so scary. Okay, I'm gonna bronze up real quick. I'm using my MAC Give Me Sun ASAP because I look so crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think that looks a little bit better. I hope. It doesn't look as bad in person. I don't know why it's picking up so contrasty on camera. Hopefully, it doesn't look that bad. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, and now I'm just going to contour using my Anastasia contour kit as always. Okay, so I took a bulb out of my light so that way it would be like less harsh lighting. Maybe that's why I was looking so contrasty. Like now you can tell it's not as bad and I actually really liked how it set everything. Um, and now I'm going to go in with NARS Bumpy Ride Blush. If I can get it out. Okay. Did I just break that? Oh my god, please. Thank god. Alright, so this is NARS Bumpy Ride. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Yes, girl. Yeah. Okay, so so far I really, really like this blush color. And for my eyes today, I'm gonna use my Too Faced Natural Love Palette. And what am I doing? Hold up. I need some highlight. I haven't gone in with a highlight yet, so I'm gonna use my Anastasia Nicole Guerrero. And I'm gonna use the color Forever Young. Damn, okay. Now that I'm glowing brighter than my future, I'm going in with the Too Faced Natural Love Palette. And the first shade I'm going to be using is Nudie right here as my transition shade. And now in my crease, I'm using Hot and Bothered right here. On the outer corner, I'm using the color Makeup and Chill. Now all over the lid, I'm using my Stila Magnificent Metals eyeshadow in the color Kitten Karma. And now I'm just blending it out right here with that outer corner shade that I used. <laughs> On the waterline, I wanted to do something a little bit different, just add a pop of color. So I'm using my Marc Jacobs eyeliner. I just picked this up as well and it's in that little like lilac color. So. I think it's going to be super, super cute. I might be wrong, but I think it's going to be cute. I zoomed you guys in so you can actually see the color, and I really, 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 really like how that put on. I might actually end up going to go get more of these colors because it glided on so nicely, and I think the pigmentation is just amazing. For a light purple, you really can't beat that. And I think it just really makes my brown eyes look a lot lighter. Um, so yeah. So now I'm gonna draw on my wing with my NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Not a first impression, I've used this before. It's just hate when you draw one perfect wing and you're like, okay, today is the day. And then you draw your other wing, your other wing, your other wing, and then it just gets bigger and bigger, and then you have to match your perfect wing to match the shitty wing. So now I have two shitty wings instead of one good wing, instead of two good wings. Yep, ran over. And now I'm just using my Seriously though guys, I do that way too much. It's pretty disgusting. All right, I can't find my favorite mascara, so I'm just gonna use my Maybelline Lash Sensational and then my L'Oreal Telescopic. Don't you guys hate when you're trying to do like really, really good lashes and then you remember you have like dried, clumped up mascara that you just wash off and it's still there for no effing reason and now your other mascara just looks clumpy and gross and ugly. <sighs> I'm just not having a good day, y'all. I'm just not. I'm trying to separate these 
and it's not working because I like clumped up mascara underneath it because I thought I could just, you know, take off my makeup from today and then film this video and it would be okay. And it's just not okay, you know? You're gonna shut up, you're acting like a little bitch. So for this look, I feel like nude would just go best or I just really am obsessed with nude and I don't really care to use any other color. Even though I picked up two other super cool colors, but I don't think they'd go with this purple. So I'm just gonna use the Pure Hollywood from Anastasia. I've been wanting to try this out forever, so I definitely had to pick that one up. I'm pretty sure that's a rap song. I know those lyrics are from something. I just can't think of how it goes, but I'm pretty sure it does not go. Hold on, I'm about to play that song. I need to know what that's from. Yeah, no, that's not it. <laughs> okay, I don't know what those lyrics are from, but it's from something. And it's pretty dang relevant to me right now because I just got all dressed up. And I got nowhere to go. So I'm gonna just sit in my room and edit this video and probably upload it in like ASAP. Also, my final thoughts on these products. I really don't like this Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. It's okay, like I don't hate it. I'm just not a natural foundation type of person. Like I'm not a light or medium coverage foundation type of gal. So if you are, I think you'd like this, but personally, I'm not that kind of person. So I don't think I will like it. I don't think it's worth the money, at least for me personally, just because I have too many breakouts like right here on my chin. And on my chin right here, I have too many breakouts on my cheek and then on my chin. So this was just like, I don't know. I wasn't a fan of this one. As far as the primer goes, um, I really don't see a difference with my skin. This was supposed to blur all of my pores and I can definitely still see all my pores. I think the Porefessional by Benefit definitely does a way better job. So I don't think this is worth the 50 something dollars that I paid for. I got from NARS, I really, really liked that one. I think it's a really pretty color. I do have a lot of them that are similar to, similar to it, but I really, really liked the color nonetheless. Glam Glow Nude Glow Moisturizer. I just feel like it's pointless. I don't know, honestly, that's just me. I've heard a lot of people talking about it, so I'm definitely going to give it more of a try and see if I can feel a difference in my I don't know what you're supposed to feel with moisturizers besides moisture, but I'll see if I even think it's worth the 50 something dollars. I'll keep you guys updated, but I personally don't think it's worth 50 something dollars so far. That's just my first impression though. So that's the thing about first impressions is you gotta, you gotta do good with them, you know? The Marc Jacobs eyeliner, I love that. As I told you guys, I think it looks really, really good with brown eyes because I think it makes my eyes look a lot lighter than what they are. So I really loved the formula of this. I'll definitely be picking up more colors. My Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, loved this. I loved how it made my foundation look and set. I really, really liked how it set my concealer. It didn't crease my under eyes. I know sometimes the RCMA um, no color powder definitely creases whenever I'm dehydrated or my skin's dehydrated. So I loved this one. I'm definitely going to be keeping this and using this a lot more. This lip color is obviously a yes because I'm obsessed with nude and I really, really like the formulation of the Anastasia liquid lipsticks. I feel like they're just very, very thin. They're not too drying on my lips. Those are my final little thoughts on everything that I picked out. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. And if you want to see anything else, leave it down below in the comment section. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.